Hello everyone, I wish you all a wonderful day, today, I will continue the series reviewing the four weapons of the new boss, Nemetov, appearing in the Lucent Corridor map. First, let's talk about Fate Bound, this Fate Bound is called Spirit of Nemetov, its effect is that attacks based on beams of light or energy will deal additional damage compared to their base stats, that means it only affects weapons that produce beams of light, laser beams, energy beams, etc., like some of the weapons I reviewed in a previous discussion about alien weapons. Alright, let's start with the first weapon, called Ailerons of the Nemetov. It inflicts poison damage, with rapid and precise thrusting attacks, likely hitting only one target. When fully charged, it generates a multitude of iron spheres, which then shoot laser beams towards the target. The second weapon is called Elytris of the Nemetov. It's a dual sword type weapon, inflicting poison damage. During regular attacks, it tends to slash at a relatively close range. When fully charged, it buffs for three turns. During each turn, it generates iron spheres to shoot laser beams towards the target. Next is the Achilles of Nemetov. It's a sword and shield combination but lacks poison damage like the previous two weapons. During regular attacks, it simply thrusts the spear forward without anything particularly special. When fully charged, it charges towards the target and also generates iron spheres to shoot laser beams, although the number of spheres is fewer than the previous two weapons. Finally, we have the Monophil of Nemetov. It's a bow type weapon and it inflicts poison damage. During regular attacks, it shoots a single poisonous arrow. When fully charged, it creates a multitude of lightning bolts around the target. In general, this weapon set is suitable for classes that synergize well with herbalists because of the poison damage inherent in the weapons. The fate bound effect, on the other hand, is more compatible with classes that have laser-based skills, such as elemental mages. Now, let's try using all these weapons in actual combat to see how they perform.